Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's video which is dedicated to spring footwear. So this is gonna be a kind of do's and don'ts video of spring footwear and what I think are some essential shoes that everyone needs in their wardrobe or a variation of these in their wardrobe for spring. Footwear is something I get asked about a lot, so this video will hopefully combine some ideas of how to style, but also some of the pieces you may need that you're lacking in your wardrobe, and then kind of the do's and don'ts of wearing those once you've got them. So let's get into our first piece of footwear. So the first are a pair of loafers. I think loafers are the key to a good spring wardrobe. I think everyone should own them. They're comfortable, they're wearable. They cross all boxes between smart and casual. And if you get this pair, then they are just so incredibly soft and comfortable. Um, so these ones are from Arquette. They are just so, so soft. I mentioned this the other day in my uh, Instagram stories that we went to Parma and I walked all day in them and I didn't break them in. I think I mentioned this in my YouTube video as well. Didn't break them in at all and they were so soft and comfortable and I could have kept walking in them. Um, I sort of sized down a half because they don't do half sizes and they work out really nicely. So this is my tan pair. I actually have a black pair as well. One second. So I also have this black pair from Flattered, which are also incredibly, incredibly comfortable. So if you're looking for a black pair, not a tan, I'd really recommend going for these. They're super lightweight as well. Um, and the stitching is beautiful. These are from Flattered, as I say. I do have a discount code at the moment, but I think if this video goes live on Saturday, it expires tomorrow. So you'd need to get shopping fast, um, but it's 10% off all flattered, um, but they're so comfortable. I just thought I'd show these as well because I've not featured them in the video, but they're a really good pair of loafers if you're looking for some. So let's get into the do's and don'ts. I personally wouldn't style these loafers. I don't think loafers look that great with a wide leg. So let's start there. I'm not saying you can never wear them with a wide leg. I think they look quite good with wide leg jeans maybe, but I think maybe wide leg trousers, it just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but I think maybe it's a bit bottom heavy, um, but then it, the same would apply to jeans. So I don't know what it is about trousers that are wide leg that I just feel like don't sit with the loafers very well. Maybe it feels a little bit too formal around the bottom. But at the same time, I've got these more casual, relaxed wide leg trousers on. These are from Officine Generale uh, last year. I'll link some alternatives below. There's some really good alternatives that I've found actually. I'll link those below. They're such a good pair of trousers, but I just feel like they're a little bit jarring with the tan loafers, I think any kind of loafers would be jarring with this. I think because the fabric is loose and light, the cotton against that kind of heavier, smarter loafer, it just feels a little bit too much of a contrast. You know, it just feels a little bit too jarring against each other. I love a contrast, but I just feel like this, these two are two kind of extremes with the soft floaty fabric and the blues and the whites with the heavier smarter leather loafer it just feels a little bit too much also we see no skin you've not got like your ankle or your foot on show and i just think this maybe um is also contributing to why i don't love it um i've also tried it on with the white loafers these are so good by the way um i just realized i didn't film another outfit with these but they're so good, they're from Cezanne. I hope these are still around that I can link them because they're so comfortable. I went for the size up in, oh no I didn't. No, I went for the 39. Um, so they run a little bit large, um, but they're so, so comfortable. I've mentioned these before. I've also got the black in these. They're a bit more of a chunky version, but I think I've tried them on with the wide trousers again, just to demonstrate the variation of loafers. And I don't think they fit with this style of trousers. So I would avoid that. I just wanted to show what I would wear with this outfit and I'd probably swap um, the loafers for some trainers. Now I know we've talked about the heaviness and you'd think a trainer wouldn't go, but I think with them being white, I don't think a dark pair would go at all or even a contrasting color. Um, the white uh, is picked up and the white in the trousers and the white in the top of the outfit and the white brings that lightness to the bottom half of the outfit so that instantly makes it feel less like a heavy shoe more like a lighter brighter shoe I also think because trainers are naturally more casual they sit nicely against this wide leg 
It's really hard to try and explain this, but hopefully um, in the demonstrations, in the cutaways, you'll be able to see what I mean by, um, I think the trainers work better with the trousers and the loafers. So as difficult it is to try and translate that into words, hopefully you'll be able to see that. Okay, so what I would style loafers with, for my example, I've gone for some straight leg trousers. Um, they're a little bit cropped. And I think what's really nice about these is that it shows the loafer off. I think with a loafer, because it's quite chunky and heavy and a little bit masculine, it's really nice to contrast that with the ankle on show, just to kind of balance out that masculinity of the shoe or the slight heaviness of the shoe. So I always think with a loafer, if you can, try and have your ankles on show a bit. So things that will go with a loafer are these straight leg trousers, maybe some cropped jeans, some cropped denim in a straight leg, even kind of leather trousers that are a little bit cropped. Also, I would say different types of skirts to really work with loafers. I think a mini skirt does work with loafers. I also think any midi or maxi length just with the ankle on show also works with a loafer. But I think the key here is to have that ankle on show. Okay, let's talk about ballet flats. And in particular, I want to talk about the Mary Jane style of ballet flats because we're seeing so much of these around at the moment. These are from Loefler Randall. They're really comfortable. Again, I got a size uh, US nine in these, which I think is a UK six correct me if I'm wrong, but I just love these. They're so comfortable, so easy to wear. I'll try and link them below. I think they're on net -a -a now, so you don't have to pay import fees for them. So I will try and link them, but they're just such a lovely pair and feel really nice quality as well. However, I do think there are ways, particularly with the Mary Jane with the strap that I wouldn't wear them. So my example here is with this mid-length skirt that's quite kind of floaty, pretty, I just don't think they work with um, the shoes for a few different reasons. One is the color of this shoe because it's black. I think it's a little bit jarring against the skirt. But more importantly, we're looking here at the style of shoe. Because of this Mary Jane strap, it cuts your foot off a little bit, kind of halfway. And then with the mid length, that also cuts your leg off a bit. And I've spoken about this before, but it can make your legs look shorter um, and if that's not your aim, um, then I think it's it just feels a little bit unflattering um, to have those cut off points in the leg. And I just think more than unflattering, it also just looks a little bit awkward to have these little lengths cut off. I also feel like the delicate flats with the delicate skirt is too much at the bottom. And I just feel like this kind of feels very feminine at the bottom, maybe a little bit masculine at the top and just doesn't have that kind of cohesive balance and flow. I did actually want to show a skirt though with the ballet flats, just to show you how you can do a skirt. And my personal opinion is that a maxi looks best, especially with the Mary Jane ballet flats. I think you can go mini if you've got, if you've not got the cro crossover strap. Depends, it depends what kind of look you're going for, I suppose but um, I personally think the maxi works best because it really takes the eye right down um, and doesn't have that cut off point on the leg so that the ankle strap doesn't look kind of too much and too on show and it just doesn't create that breakage in the leg that maybe a midi or even a mini would do, especially with that Mary Jane across. So I've gone for this long white skirt, cut the white blazer on, white t-shirt, um, and then added in some black accessories just to bring the black up I also think with this skirt, it's again, a little bit more kind of masculine and structured, which contrasts nicely with the ballet flats in terms of their femininity, but also the simplicity of this outfit and the kind of minimal look all works nicely together. Before we had the more feminine look of the skirt and the more delicate look of the skirt with um, maybe the more minimal style of the shoes and I also felt like that clashed a little bit. So I feel like this in terms of the style and the look we're going for is a little bit more cohesive and streamlined. So let's do trainers now. A classic white trainer for me again is just 
perfect spring shoe, especially for slightly rainier days or slightly cooler days. These are my Adidas Continental. I also have them in uh, beige, which are absolute trash now. I wish they'd bring them back in beige. I can't find them anywhere, but these bits are all kind of beige, which is really nice. Anyway, I had to get the gold ones, um, but they are really nice too and they do work with lots of things. So just a classic white trainer, I think is really easy to style with lots of different things. But here's how I wouldn't wear them. So I think they really don't work that well with maybe a carrot style jean, something that's neither cropped nor long, that kind of in-between length as I'm demonstrating here with these Zara jeans, I think with the shape as well, with them not being slim fitting to the ankle, you've got quite a lot of bulkiness around the ankle, around the shoe area. And then that bulkiness kind of goes all the way to the top with this kind of style of jeans. Again, I think it just makes you look a little bit shorter with those bulky fabrics around the bottom, gathering around the ankle with that looser leg. So yeah, I would probably avoid anything that touches the ankle of the trainer. I think, uh, especially if it's a chunkier trainer, if it's touching the ankle of it, I think we've got too much fabric going on around that area. So by contrast, what I've done is put the um, tan loafers on from before, just so we've got, again, I said this with the um, loafers earlier, but we've got that gap um, and a bit of ankle on show with the loafers and with these style of jeans. And it just feels a little less bulky around the leg. We've not got lots of fabric going on and we've got that nice break with a bit of ankle on show. So what would I do with trainers in terms of trousers? I personally would go, for me anyway, I think a longer wide leg looks best with a pair of trainers. I really like that look, whether it's jeans or trousers. Here I've gone for the jeans just to show one pair of jeans versus another pair of jeans. So I've gone for this longer slouchy pair from Arquette. What I like about these is they come all the way down. They're longer, they're wider. So the eye is drawn down rather than the eye stopping at the ankle where it did in the last pair of jeans. We've got that further flow, especially with the wider leg as well. It just kind of creates that nice streamlined effect. Um, hopefully I'm explaining this well. Like I say, I think the examples will show you what I'm trying to say. Other things I think trainers go with, I think like, you know what? Trainers go with pretty much everything. Um, I love them with long dresses, short dresses, maxi skirts, mini skirts, wide leg trousers, like I say, or a straight cropped trouser. I think something where, again, we have a bit more ankle on show than the last pair. I think you need that ankle on show with the trainer just to make it, again, have that little balance between um, lots of fabric and then the daintiness of the ankle. I think that just works better than all the fabric around the bottom, unless we've got that wide leg that goes right down to the floor. And I think you'll probably be able to notice um, within this video, it is quite a nuanced thing and it is very small details that make a big difference. And that's why it's quite hard to demonstrate this sometimes because the details are so minute and subtle that a lot of people maybe wouldn't pick up on them or implement them, but it is those little details like a slightly longer length of trouser or slightly shorter length of trouser or skirt um, that really makes such a difference. And then finally, again from Flattered, is this gorgeous pair of slides. I actually worked with Flattered on Instagram, that's why I have a couple of shoes from them. But I really wanted to feature these because for one, again, they're really, really comfortable. I was really impressed with how comfortable these are because sometimes when you've got a slide, they can be a little bit, I don't know, they can rub a little bit, but these just feel so soft and they're padded underneath too, so they're very comfortable. Um, and again, if you wanted to use that discount, you can. I love this buckle as well, but they're also very simple. The thing with sandals is I think a lot of people maybe don't wear them in spring thinking they're just a summer shoe, but actually, in order to maximize your wardrobe, get the most out of your pieces, think about how you can style your different season pieces for not that season. <laughs> so taking a pair of summer sandals, how can you make that work for spring? So my don't here is don't neglect sandals in spring because there are ways to make them work, especially on those warmer days 
sometimes sandals are very much appropriate. I would say to make it work for spring, you can go for some loose wide leg trousers. I love like a satin or silk wide leg trouser. The ones I'm wearing here from And Other Stories, I'll try and link some alternatives below as well. But I think a nice satin, loose trouser that feels relaxed is a really nice way to pair with the sandals and then you can go for a nice relaxed knit over the top. It doesn't have to be a heavyweight knit, could be something loose, could be a sweatshirt. Um, you could even go for maybe a loose t-shirt if it was warmer, but I do think that's a way to wear the sandals for spring. You know on those in-between days where it's warm, but you just need that extra layer, it's quite nice to do this. And also in the evenings as well, if it goes a little bit cooler, you can put a knit over the top. And I just think it looks so chic with the sandals. So I hope that's been useful. If it has been useful, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Give me a thumbs up as well, and I'll see you in my next video, hopefully. Bye.